to enter a customer either go on to the top of the tabs here or you can go into customer here you've got a new button there recent or your last couple of customers for that day all is all of your customers and live is not much difference so go into new type in the account number if you have it add the customer name the address and all the other relevant details that you need to put in there you can add a delivery address if it's different to the actual um, header address defaults are basically the uh, type of order the area that it's going who's doing the actual quotation which is usually supervisor you can repeat business as well or advertising that way you can follow up later on also across the top you can add a header and footer if you need to now every time this customer comes up it will come up with the same header and footer so you can add different headers and footers for different customers uh, special terms discounts that sort of thing another option if it's just a guy off the street is instead of giving an account number just give it a, an xx what that means is you can actually enter the customer's name on the quote itself rather than giving him an account you don't need to fill the name in here it's, in fact probably leave it blank again delivery address leave that blank you still need to do the defaults and any headers and footers that you need to put in it as well and i'll show you the difference once i get into quotes so again across the top you've got sales quotes you've got recent ones which are the last couple you've done for that day live are quotes that haven't been sent to order or not in production and obviously new and again you can either do it from here or you can go into this section here but it's it's easier from this here so new so the last customer number you put in would always come up first now as this is a cash job you actually type the name in if it was a customer then all these details would come up as well and you can obviously have the address delivery address the same as the invoice address if it's a cash then you've literally got to fill details in and any other relevant details across the top you've got lines and across the top here you've got various tabs windows doors curtain walling if you do that sort of thing then you've got manual entry or just separate glass areas so we'll do a quick window now this is comlink data so it will come up with their system to start with and you've got various options there if it's a c70 you just go into designs and then you can choose from the design library just put an awning in for the time being change this if you want to um, also across the top you've got your references um, location quantity sizes down this column here you've got all your colors so you've got whites and your creams and your foils frame extensions window outer frames now these can be set up as a default so that they come up with the same every time so you'd have to tell us which ones you're using most all your hardware whether it's truth whether it's white friction hinges sash locks that sort of thing if it's in a bathroom you want it to have safety glass in then you just double click and add the glass So the next window you put in there would automatically come up with all these details so you can change that as you're going along window two bathroom that sort of thing the sizes might change and again for a door all the colors would come up the same colors 
And again, you can change that to whatever system you need to do. If it is outside the size limits recommended by the hardware or a profile manufacturer, then it will come up with, with that type of error. You just need to change the sizes there. The, the error actually comes up down on the left hand side. So I'll just put that in again. So out, dimensions outside paint types, which means that the sashes are too narrow. And again, you can change these as you're going along as well. But manual entries are basically any, any way you, where you can add extras, delivery. You can add a price to that. Installation. You can also add text to a quote as you're going along as well. So if this one here, you can add um, child lock or whatever you need to add in there and that will come up on the quote as well. It, it, it would include that down there as well. You've got your truth slash locks opening restrict to that sort of thing. To print that off, you just go into reports, quotation, You've got various settings here. You can have sales line pricing with a discount. Quote pricing means that just the total figure will show at the end. Sales line pricing will individually price each window and give you a total at the end as well. So we'll do that one to start with. Now you can have your logo at the top. You can have anything you need up there. This gives you individual prices. $1,005 each times two. Gives you all the details there. Now these can be condensed to what you need in there. You might not need to put silicon sealant or display fixings, that sort of thing. So we can, we can reduce that. Gives you a running total. And then a grand total at the end. You've got your installation. So if you didn't want it individual, then you just go sell court pricing. If it's something you do all the time, then set it as a default. And again, I'll just show you, I'll just reduce the amount of information that the court sends out. Now you can email directly to the customer, print off or obviously print preview. So there you can see that most of it has disappeared. The child lock is what I did as a separate text. Just gives you the quantities and then the total figure at the end. Thank you.